So next, we are delighted to institute a new practice for our graduation. We are going to have a student um, address to you today. And we are very delighted that it's going to be Hank Romero. Joe's been holding out. Four years ago, give or take a, a few years, most of the parents here were excited to learn that their son or daughter had been accepted to the University of California, Santa Barbara. They hoped to hear that we had chosen a major that would secure a fine career, like business economics, computer science, or engineering. Instead, we looked them straight in the face and said, film studies. <laughs> and as it sunk in and confusion began to take hold, we put them to ease with these simple words, I could have said philosophy. On the surface, the study of film and media may seem trivial and just an excuse to watch a lot of movies. But in fact, it is a rich and complex academic field, a fusion of history, technology, political science, art, economic, business, and psychology. Film and media has redefined how we relate to each other as human beings and to the world around us. It is a powerful tool that at times has been used to divide by reinforcing stereotypes, but it has also been used to shed light on injustice and to allow us to learn that we are not so different from those we define as quote unquote, the other. And yes, we did watch a lot of movies. But we did a lot more writing and a lot more reading. Some of us. <laughs> the curriculum and the instructors in this department sh challenged us to, re to re examine how we relate to media and to recognize that we are not simply passively consuming media, but that we are constantly interacting with it. The great professors in this department, including Sarkar, Frusetti, Bloom, Brannigan! <laughs> And everyone else on this stage deserve our thanks and admiration for sharing their passion and their knowledge with us. And let's not forget to thank the TAs. That's right. The TAs who helped us with those denser texts and who actually replied to our frantic emails at 2 a.m. 4 a.m., there you go. I would also like to give a, spe a special thank you to a man so great that his last name means epic in Italian. That man is Joe Palladino. <laughs> Joe is an amazing academic advisor and a great friend. And I'd like to thank all of my friends. I love you guys all. I would name you individually, but I don't want the orchestra to play me off before I'm done. Um, but I especially need to thank a former graduate of this very department who believed in me and was extremely influential in pushing me to return and finish school, my loving and lovely girlfriend, Jennifer Hamrick. As a returning student, the fact that I'm graduating, let alone giving this awful speech, is still hard for me to wrap my brain around. I grew up in the public housing and welfare systems. Neither of my parents graduated from college, and when I was younger, both of them suffered from medical ailments that altered the family dynamic and my responsibility in it forever. While still in high school, I often worked two jobs just to make enough money to keep us off food stamps. Like Juno says, I was dealing with things way beyond my maturity level, except no one was pregnant, thankfully. <laughs> um, while things were not always easy for me, my parents instilled in me a very strong work ethic and provided me with unconditional love, two things which you come to realize eventually vastly outweigh anything monetary. Mom, Dad, I love you, and I'm very damn proud to be your son. Um, I'm also proud to be a part of this graduating class. The opportunities that lay before us are many. Some of us will continue down ac an academic path. Some of us may already have work set up in the industry, while others may work as interns in mail rooms delivering coffee or picking up dry cleaning just to get their foot in the door. Some of us may be moving back home to save money, claiming it's only temporary. <laughs> it's not. And some of us may take jobs unrelated to our degrees simply to make ends meet. I spoke earlier about the conflicts in my own life because at one point or another, we will all need to face the responsibility of family and taking care of those you love. But until then, I urge you to take advantage of your youth and your freedom. Do what it is you want to do while you can. Don't let the fear of failure or financial uncertainty keep you from following your dreams. If you don't overcome those fears, you will look back on your life with great regret. If you really want it bad enough, you can find a way to make it happen. And you need not make it alone. They say it's not what you know, but who you know that is important in the industry. 
So it is important that we all appreciate the fact that we've come to know each other. We've made movies, the 196s, the real louds, the viral videos. We've studied for classes together, complained about papers, spent all night in the editing bay, and had a blast at the Ivy Theater. And for those parents out there still not convinced, after all these years about the validity of a degree in film and media studies, I say this. Those graduating from more conventional degrees will hold a more conventional role in our society, while the roles of this graduating class will be that of writers, directors, cinematographers, animators, editors, producers, academics, and more. We will be the creative force behind the art and entertainment that reaches not only those in this very department, but in every department, in every, in every university, and in every corner of our society, further redefining how we relate to each other and to the world. It's been an honor. Thank you. Thank you, Hank. That was wonderful. <laughs> no, uh, what do I want to be when I grow up? Um, I, like everyone else who lives in the state of California, wants to be involved in the film industry in some way. Uh, actually, more than anything else, I, I, want to be a, I want to be a storyteller. Give you the class of yeah. Yay, this is the class of 2008. Don't forget to vote. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be taller. <laughs>